we are going to install Windows 11 inside Windows 11. And yes, it sounds really stupid, but you know that file that you receive from someone and you almost are 100% sure that it is a bad file that will damage your computer, but your curiosity tells you that you must open it. Then if we do that inside this Windows 11 right over here, no issues whatsoever. Or even if we browse the dark web or download any software that we don't own and we want to try out to see if everything goes okay. If anything goes wrong, it just goes wrong inside this virtual machine. We can grab it, throw it in the trash, create a new one, and our computer is totally fine. It's really simple. We are going to use only Windows features, so let's go for it. Let's go to our computer and search for Hyper-V Manager. If by any reason it doesn't show up, then search for Windows features. Open it up and check Hyper-V box. Click OK, it will install in a few seconds and then we will need to restart our computer. After restarting, just search again for Hyper-V and you will have it there. You can open it up and we are ready to go. Now, before we create the virtual machine, we need to download Windows 11. We can go either to the official Microsoft website or we can use UUP Dump, which I've shared with you in the past, to get the latest version of Windows, which at this moment is 25 h2 now once we have the download complete we will go to the hyper v and select new virtual machine give it a name anything at your choice on the next menu we will select generation 2 we need to set how much ram we want to use and then on the network we will choose default network connection now we need to choose the size of the virtual hard drive and then pick the Windows 11 version that you did download. Now I've got both right over here, 24H2 and 25H2, but I'm testing a few things on the 25H2, so that's the one I'm going to select. Just press open and that is it. Now we need to click next, and before we start the virtual machine, we need to go to settings and under security, just make sure to enable TPM, which is the Trusted Platform Module. This will avoid any compatibility issues or errors during the installation. And that is it. Now we just need to right click on the virtual machine, choose connect, and then click on start. And in a few seconds, the Windows 11 installer will start. Just follow the steps and in a few minutes we will have Windows 11 running inside Windows 11. Now if there's any file that you want to test, an app that you are unsure about or you just want to browse shady websites or the dark web as I was saying then without putting your real computer at risk, no problem. Everything inside the virtual machine stays completely isolated. So anything that happens here, I can just put it in the trash and that is it. Now, the great thing is that besides Windows 11, I can install, if I'm nostalgic, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 95, or we can install other cool operating systems like Linux and so on. So we can do a lot with virtual machines. There are a lot of ways to do. This is not my favorite, but it's one of the simplest ones without having to use any kind of software. To achieve that. Hopefully the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.